Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Special announcement for today, this should be the 149th episode of Miraculous Monday that I have done on this channel, which if we're following the every 50 episodes we do a live stream trend, that means that next week, next Monday, we should be doing a live stream. It will probably start at the same time this airs, which would be 12 p.m. EST, so should be like a normal episode airing exactly when it does normally. It would just be, you know, an hour long live stream or however long it ends up being, who knows. But if you wanna see that, please let me know down in the comments below and I hope to see you there if we do it. But yeah, let's go and hop right into this video. Miraculous cast. Not only does this art look really good, it would have taken forever to draw all of these because there's so many different characters and drawing characters takes forever. And I love the the <laughs> Adrian's bodyguard in the car there doing the peace sign. That's awesome. I love this. This is so good. Wow. That's a lot of characters you had to draw. I love the dedication. This looks great. I love this. A little meme I made about truth, lol. Luca, uncover Marinette's secret. Learn Kendawar and Ladybug's identities. Discover Jagged Stone is my father. Discover Jagged Stone is my father. <laughs> I like the two different screenshots there. Does a good job representing the emotions, but um, yeah, unexpected uh, turn of events there. But honestly, I think it worked out for the better. Who else agrees? Inside you, there are two wolves. One thing Adrian it happening without the world ending. Yeah. Confirmation on senti monster theory. Yes. <laughs> uh, but you know. I don't, I, part of me just wants to not hear the confirmation or I, I want to hear that it's not a thing that that would be what I want to hear, but it probably is. So if we just don't ever confirm it, then in our hearts, it isn't real, right? Y yeah. You get me? You feel me? Yeah. I was trying to take a picture of them kissing, but instead captured this crying face emoji. He looks so terrified, skull face emoji. Don't know why I said those emojis out loud. That's kind of cringe. Ah, yes. Distorted marinette face and terrified Adrian. He does look really scary. He's like, oh, marinette. <laughs> oh. It kind of hurts my heart a little bit, you know? It, we want Adrianette, right? But it's like, this is like, he he doesn't want it. At least in the screenshot. He just looks scared. He wasn't expecting it. It's not that he doesn't want it. Internally, secretly, in some way, he does. But he was just surprised. He was, he was just scared, that's all. That's all. So far, after season four, does this scene still hold the record for the cringiest moment in the show or what? Back-to-back -back Puppeteer 2 episode things. That's crazy. I think ultimately yes, but also I loved this scene because not only was it funny, right? It was cringy, yeah, but it was also hilarious. And look at how good this scene looks. This is the best looking animation and lighting that we have seen in Miraculous since Stormy Weather, the f like the first episode that aired. That was one of them, but it wasn't... Anyway, you know what I mean, right? This scene and episode looked so good. SAMD did such a great job with this. And that makes it hard to hate, at least for me, because I love really crisp and nice looking animation, right? So when you see this amazing scene and episode that looks really good, is really funny. Yeah, it's cringy, but they're teenagers. Teenagers are cringy, right? So it's like, it it was just, ah. Uh, I just really enjoyed it. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is so cringy and bad. But like, it's hard to hate it when it looks this good, right? You know, the animation, the just the light, everything about it was so good. It was cringy, but ultimately, it still holds a place in my heart. Miraculous the movie. I don't exactly know what this is. Uh, like this is like a version of the poster. I don't know if this is fan art or if this is like official art. I don't exactly know, but it looks cool. I like it. it. I can't tell because it looks like something that could be fan art, but then also like I could totally see it being the official thing. So either way, I like it. And it's the same design that we have seen before. I just, I want to know, is it fan art or not? Cause it doesn't say it all. I'm like, Wait a minute, this is different from the one that I remember, but it still looks good. So it's like, oh, 
So I'm distracted about that, but yeah. Ultimately, I'm excited for the movie. It's set to air later this year, probably in the winter time. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Adrian's true best friend, Nino. Nah, not Nino. Plag, yes. Yeah, I, Nino does stick out for him though. Nino is a good friend, right? Because, you know, if you, if you go back to Bubbler, right? Nino barely knew Adrian at that point, but yet he was still like, yo, I'm gonna stick up for my bro. You know, he went over to Gabriel and was like, yo, you no fun, you know? And, you know, even today, he still sticks up for him and he's still a great friend. Plague has always been there for Adrian, though, and it's, it's, it's good. And Plague's funny. Nino's funny, too, but not as much as Plague. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Plague. Plague is, I feel, I feel like, aside from Cat Noir, Plague is, like, one of everyone's favorite characters, right? It's, like, it's hard to hate Plague. Sugar Cube and Stinky Sock. Are those tattoos? I can see them being, like, just, like, draw on stuff. But if those are tattoos, that's some serious dedication. I hope you stick to liking Miraculous for a while if it's a sta if it's a tattoo. Because if you start not liking it, you know, in a few years, which tends to happen, you know, a lot of people just are like, eh, it's not really my thing anymore, right? And if that happens and you got a tattoo, if the tattoos are permanent, sure, you can re-tattoo it to, I guess, your skin color. But it, 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 will, it will forever leave a tattoo mark. So, you know, just saying, just saying. Honestly, though, Adrian accepts Marinette being Ladybug immediately in Cat Belong. Phantom, he only loved her because she's Ladybug. He didn't love Mari. He does secretly, though. Uh, Marinette takes some time to accept Adrian is Cat in Ephemeral. Phantom, how dare she not love Cat? She only likes the ideal version of Adrian. I never really looked too far into that kind of stuff because it's like there are episodes that don't really mean anything, right? Although, I will say, I guess it's, it, they were genuine reactions, right? It was just they were erased, so maybe, maybe it is important to look into those, but it is a little bit of a double standard. It's like, can you be pleased? I didn't even know the fandom really had these reactions, but yeah, I mean, I think personally, I think when somebody is who you didn't know that they were, it takes time to adjust right it's not like an immediate like oh yeah it, it it takes time to process right it takes time to adjust and it takes time to sort of like i don't know update your knowing of them right because you sort of have to have to like merge people i guess in this case right you gotta merge them in your mind together so i think marinette you know taking time to accept adrian as cat is like it, that makes sense that's that's the thing that makes sense and so you know it's like you know, she's not gonna just immediately fall in love, right? Because she's like, wow, this person is not who I thought they were. I need to think about this, right? So, I don't know. That's my take on it. Purple for Ace Day. Wow, that's a lot of purple. We got Marinette in a lot of different purple styles. That's pretty cool. One, uh, the first and the last one look kind of similar, but, well, hmm, maybe not. Just the jacket looks sort of similar, but even the jacket, like, you can tell that there are differences. But with everything being purple, the two jackets definitely look kind of similar. But overall, this is pretty cool. I like the different designs here. Although Mar her design isn't really purple, is it? I don't know. I like it, but I don't, her design isn't, it's more pink. Yeah, 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 it's definitely pink. So purple is interesting, but what if you had done it in pink? I kind of want to see that now because that's sort of her color, right? So I feel like that might feel more like Marinette. So I'd be interested to see that. Image you can hear me when they don't release season five in order. That's not how it's done <sighs> Yeah, this image you can hear in your mind <laughs> At least I can and then the hawk moth opening the window scene that image is classic You can totally hear that one, too. Ah Ladybug Yeah <laughs> uh. It's weird that Miraculous does that, but it's funny. It's funny. What is Markov to you? Hello, Mr. Thomas. I have a question about Miraculous Ladybug. Markov, Max's friend, does he know the identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir like Aeon? Uh, robots don't see through disguise. How could Aeon see them then? Thanks for answering because she's Aeon, not a microwave oven with a camera. <laughs> You've heard it here, folks. 
Markov is now a microwave oven with a camera. Oh man. Thomas, <laughs> you're being brutal to Markov. Oh my gosh. That's kind of mean. That's, that's mean. Oh. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh no. I'm sorry, Markov. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Box Noir is an underrated character. Thinking about the way Adrian took the time to make a little bell out of paper for his Box Noir suit. Yeah, we love Adrian. He's so pure. This is amazing. We've got to find Hakma. He's on Insta. Wait, what? He's on Instagram. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I would totally love to see Hawkmoth have his own Instagram account because, you know, and this is sort of pointing to that, like, uh, it says liked by um, the official Chloe Bourgeois. Like, that's the official, um, like, Chloe account because they used to do Instagram posts. They said that they were going to start it back up, but they never have, so I don't think they ever are, but, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> it'd be so funny if we saw just the random characters having this, like, Hawkmoth doing weird things like this just because he can. It's like he's mocking Ladybug and Cat Noir, be like, no, 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 you can't find me. You know, it's like, <laughs> that would be so funny. And for the top post of the week, playing as a human. Hey, Adrian, do you think I'd look handsome as a human? You, as a human? Yeah, I could use my powers to turn into one. I bet the girls would go crazy. Yeah, Plague. Plague, buff Plague. <laughs> That's All Might, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, good to see you, young aggress. <laughs> it, it has been confirmed that Adrian's a weeb too, so you know. Uh, <laughs> you must stay the way you are. I think you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so good. I love this. <laughs> Oh, this was a great post to end off the week. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> if you, for those of you who don't know uh, where where uh, the character was, like like the reference that was made there, that's from My Hero Academia. Uh, on my back here, I have, I have a figure of him. So, oh, My Hero Academia is pretty good. You should go check it out, but... Oh, that was funny. That was a good laugh. I like that one. Also, we got the little reference to Bakugo here. Oh my gosh, with the eye slant. <laughs> oh, this is a great comic. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content so much this, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.